I'm super, super happy with it. I couldn't be happier. I mean, you know, it would be lovely to, to be there in the moment, but it's such a collection of time and work and just memories in the studio for me that have come to a culmination at um, the Tristan Hoare Gallery. It's just, it's just fantastic. I wanted to um, get rid of the purely figurative uh, facial features or even the body and focus entirely on the symbolism of patterns and colors and, and the movement that was created. So in itself, those pieces are, are people, they are portraits, they are characters for me. You know, my work is a diary, so there's no preordained calendar to my days of what I'm gonna work on and what I'm gonna do, because there's no um, pre-drawing. So it, it really is an extension of the, the, the way that I am that day. Um, so in itself, it's, it's, they're not specific people. They're all a bit of me, really, is what they are. And then the colors come, come later. The movement and the drawing comes first. Um, it's a very intense moment. It lasts a couple of hours. There's a lot of going back and forth. Um, the first drawing usually comes into one single kind of continuous movement and there's no retouching, there's no erasing anything. You know, the first mark is the right one. I kind of psych myself up for it because it takes up, it takes a lot of energy. I started this series when I came back from a trip um, in the primary jungle in Costa Rica and I was um, very overwhelmed and moved by the vegetation there, the flora. And I, I was just completely transformed when I when I came back to the studio and immediately put up um, eight panels that would cover my entire um, studio wall. And so that's what they are. They are digested kind of um, images of of what could be as far as as flora. You know, for me, it's a, they're, they're mysterious. Um, the movement pieces are are kind of knowledge that I've had from before and that I create and make my own. And then the botanicals are complete mystery it's um everything everything could be um you know poisonous or not and then there's the beauty that that brings you in and then the, the colors which is you know could be so intense and you could get lost in it and it's that idea of getting lost um that attracts me the most and that's why i love to work with the, the multi-panels with the botanicals i want the viewer to be enveloped um, but yet not completely submerged. I want some breath there. I want I want each botanical piece to stand on its own. Those are mixtures of the botanicals and the movement pieces. So I look at the movements and those as more of like, um, you know, the, the 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 character comes into the jungle if you if if I can put it that way, um, and and they're pairing right. They're finding their either opposite or um, what what makes them whole. So it's a close relationship between the movement and the botanical. And that's why you get that feeling of really kind of, wow, like in your face feeling because they're so close. It's the bond between the two of them that makes it that they take over the entire kind of um, paper or surface. The composition is a lot tighter. And then for me, um, the yellow with the black dot is a bit of a reference uh, to Japanese artists. There's a certain red that I absolutely love. People call it orange, but I call it red. Um, it's um, it's a cadmium red, but it's a bit lighter than that. And um, I have that I have that in me. Black I use I use quite a bit as uh, maybe punctuation for me because you know each each piece is is a bit of a storytelling, right? With its different character and where it's from and where it's going and how it's feeling. Um, so black would be a bit of, of feeling of a punctuation mark that needs either something that needs to be underlined or um, put forward. White I'm not crazy about and that's one of the reasons why I don't really paint on a lot of white paper. Even my white paper is off white. It's it's a natural white. Um, yeah, white is not, white kind of s scares me in a, in a bit. Yeah. I don't know how to say that, but it, it does. It has a suggestion that I should be doing something fabulous and it's waiting for that. And I, I don't like that, um, but all the all my blues, my blues are my yeah, my blues in that specific red. I would say are my favorites. They're like you know photographs from a trip or something. So I go back to them. They they're, they they'll never um, cease to exist. You know the joy of drawing them, and then um, and then painting them. I don't I don't think will ever stop.